Let's talk about Jonas Cespedes and his spring so far, which includes a 526 average with three home runs. And Anthony, I know you talked to uh, Kevin Long briefly before the show. What did he have to say about uh, Cespedes? Well, he, he is raving about this start, Doug. Uh, you know, he says he expects nowadays he expects Cespedes at a home run every time up. And, you know, with some of the swings like the one today, uh, you can see where he would feel that way. Uh, he, he's. Yoannis is a smarter hitter than he's ever been, Long says. He's working harder than he ever has. He works harder than anybody on the team in the weight room and in the cage. And, uh, you know, Kevin is, is poised, thinks that Cespedes is poised for a big year. And, uh, you know, he also liked to clear up a misconception. What he says is a terrible misconception about Cespedes and the, and the big contract, John. I know there's, a, there's the thought out there that Cespedes would s sort of take his foot off the gas after getting the big deal from the Mets this offseason. And, and Long says that that's not the case at all, that he thinks that he, he knows that he's the man in the lineup and he wants that responsibility and he's looking to carry the team with a big season. That's, you know, that's, that's been the question hanging over him right. for, for years now. Even Mets people the year before this winter, they had questions about it. I heard about it, you know, kind of off the record conversations. Is this guy going to give you at maximum effort when he signs that big deal? And I, I'm pretty sure he's aware of it. This might be driving him a little bit, especially this year, to prove people wrong uh, because he started out like any. There's no doubt. You talk to everybody, scouts, everybody else he thinks that he's in better shape. He looks a little bit thinner than he did last year. Uh, so he's, he's apparently driven for either just because he wants to prove it or just because he's got the contract now and he, and he knows he's going to be here for a while. And don't you think, so, yeah, some well, of it has to do with, go ahead. I'm sorry, Doug. He, 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 there's, here's a little evidence that he is sort of thinking that way, too. Uh, Long was telling me that Cespedes has not DH'd this entire spring so far because he is attempting to send kind of a message that he wants to be out there every time. So he's been in the outfield every time. He's, you know, begged off the sort of half day off that everybody thinks that being the DH is, and he wants to go uh, full throttle. Just as long outfield. as it's not in center field. But uh, so isn't it, <laughs> doesn't it have something to do with, though, Harp and allegiance to a team? I mean, he's bounced around. That's been well documented, but he almost won here. And, and now he's getting to the chance where – this is a window with this team, with this young starting pitching. He probably realizes that, and the fact that he's been in the weight room and the fact that he started so hot after signing the contract might have something to do with the team being as close to winning as this team. Is. I think so. I mean, he is. He loves the big stage. He loves New York, and I think he would love to, to be the guy that wins the championship for his team. Obviously, this is mostly built around the pitching here, but he could be the guy that really takes his team to a championship. That's the one thing he hasn't done, though, is really hit in the postseason for this team. You know, he got him there in 15, didn't have a great postseason, especially the World Series. And last year in a wild card game, Bumgarner got him to chase, which he had stopped doing uh, for most part. He's become a smarter hitter, no doubt about it. Long talks a lot about that when I saw him earlier this in spring training, how much smarter he is. Than, or not, he's a smart hitter, how much better he's gotten at making adjustments, going the other way with men on base, things like that. Can he do that? If he ever does that in the postseason, he's going to become a guy that's going to be a hero here forever. Did and Kevin mention specific things when you talked to him today just about how he has improved specifically? Uh, yes, uh, certainly his strike zone discipline has gotten better, as, as John was mentioning, and that's something that happened last year, I think, and he's even taking it forward now. Uh, Kevin was saying that they've had, a, he's, they've had a lot of discussions about hitting in camp so far, he and Ioannis, and, and one of the things he said to him, it's kind of playful, but he said, you know, the only person, when, when you're swinging at, at good pitches, the only person who's getting Ioannis Cespedes out is Ioannis Cespedes. And, you know, there's a lot to dream on here, Doug. Uh, you know, Glenn Sherlock, the new coach and catching instructor through BP to, to Cespedes today, and, uh, and he said to Long afterward, you know, that's the best BP session I've ever seen. <laughs> and he couldn't stop talking about it all day. So apparently it was quite a show in BP. You know, that, uh, you know, that may not mean much when it comes to a regular game, but, uh, you, you know, this guy's got a lot going for him right now. And he's you know, the one thing I didn't know about Cespedes and Kevin ta talking to him earlier in the spring is that this guy, does, he really is a student of hitting. You know, you, yeah. don't, you think of him as kind of this natural talent, going to superhuman physical talent. Uh, he says he studies as much or more than any other player, and he even, he'll comment with Long. Long will actually ask him about other players like when they were talking about Travis Darno, he said, he said Cespedes is the first guy to say, this guy needs to be more consistent in terms of his swing. He says he's always changing the swing. You can't hit that way. So he really does pay attention. And he's really a smart hitter. And look, he was going to make a lot of money before he made these adjustments. He decided to do it anyway, and now he's the hitter he is today. But is there any way that he could somehow get better? Is there one thing that he and Kevin Long are still working at tirelessly to this day? Oh, I would say John alluded to it earlier about uh, staying off of the high heat right. uh, when it's out of the strike zone. I mean, that's tempting for any hitter, and that's a, you know, that is a vehicle for pitchers to, to get guys out and, and to make them get themselves out, and that's what Kevin was talking about. You know, with, if, as long as Ioannis is swinging at his pitch and not the pitcher's pitch, he's going to be awfully hard to get out but, this year. But scouts still think that you can get him, again, well, like hard throwers especially, that he'll still have a hard time staying off the, you know, 94, 95-plus 
fastballs. He'll still, if you can get him to chase above, above, above the zone. Bumgarner's not really in that category, but he's so deceptive, he got him to chase, and right. he's so good with his command. He's not that's in probably, any category. <laughs> that's true. He's right. not good in the playoffs. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> That's probably the final hurdle for Seth, but if he can do that in the playoffs against the, you know, the, whether it's the Kershaws or whatever, then he's really going to be on a level as well as hitting as well as anybody in the game.